Today we're going to talk about Simrel's new spinning mouthpieces. Just for a quick little lesson or comparison, we're going to run through the Stinger uh, just to see where we came from. You have your standard intercooler, your condenser, and your mouthpiece, and that's all there is to a Stinger. When this is inside the device, it's static, so it doesn't spin. Which is fine, but for torch heating, the way that uh, you hold the device, it, it's always real nice when the mouthpiece spins. So we're going to go through the spinning mouthpieces and all of its parts. First off, you're going to start with which condenser you want to use. For this purpose, we're going to be putting it into the new uh, short MVS. So I'm going to go with the short condenser. You can just place this to the, si the, the side. This is just a little clip of how those come. Not really important. Nice for storage. The way I build it is I start with the mouthpiece because that's the base and kind of gives you the indicator of how everything is going to go. You slide the mouthpiece on the condenser. Then you're going to start with your two ring friction bearing assembly. That's going to start with this one that has the three O rings on the outside. And you're going to put that all the way against the mouthpiece. Then above that, you're going to put the other friction ring, which also has black O-rings. So it's easy to remember black on black O-rings first. And then you're going to have a stabilizer ring, and that's going to go on last. And the way I line that up is I take my device and I line it up like this and I see where the air hole is and I kind of just put it somewhere between the airport and the bottom. So when you have a finished mouth spinning mouthpiece assembly, you can actually compare it to a stinger and they're supposed to kind of look the same. So if you look at it, he did a really good job as indicating kind of a a standardization between all his stuff. Really cool on his part. So we're going to just stick that back in there. Put the XL together with the, just a standard stinger. Then for the intercooler, he released some high flow ones that have less twists. Really great if you think that the normal ones are too restrictive. This also has less loss of flavor. Put that in. Slide it in your device. And that is a spinning mouthpiece. So just to recap, you have the mouthpiece, a two ring friction bearing assembly, which is the black O-rings, and then a stabilizer ring up between here somewhere. It's not real important where this one goes, but it's just nice to have it up there somewhere about midway just to hold the condenser in real tight. All right, well, I think the only logical thing now is to uh, give it a test. So the way I do it is I kind of just line the mouthpiece up with uh, my finger, grip it there, and you can see it just makes that rotation really easy without having to move these fingers. And then, you know, because if you're doing this sort of thing, you, sometimes you like fumble or, you know, it's just easier if you can grab onto it and give it a rip. I run this with my modified Omni tip um, and a low temp cap with the airport about one third open. A very light, airy, flavorful hit. You can just inhale as hard as you want on this thing. It's actually kind of fun because if you set it like this uh, and the intercooler is in there and the device is clean, the intercooler actually uh, spins like a little turbine fan in there, adding to another layer to the cooling and just making this a really fun device to handle. Not to mention this is like the ultimate fidget spinner for those of us that keep the device in the pocket. I've found that I kind of just do this when I'm holding it. All right, Dynaverse, I've heard you, and some of you have been asking what the spinning mouthpiece is compatible with. 
I mean, that's the coolest thing about the way that this has been constructed because of the telescoping condenser um, and also the two sizes that are available and come with it. It's actually compatible with almost any Dynavap stem or body or custom sizes because people like Fudo make uh, XXL, big stem, the way that this telescopes out, you can actually ride the line a little bit and make this longer than what you actually need. So just to show you a proof of concept here, set up for the uh, small size. Here's my OG Omni, fits in there, that's cool. And then within seconds, I can just pull this apart. <clears throat> Pull it all apart, then I can get my XL, put the stabilizer ring, then this one. See, it doesn't really matter which order you assemble it in. It's a little easier to remember when you do it from top to bottom, but as long as you get it all in the right order, and then you can put it in an M device. Bloop. There it is. Sweet. Well, I guess that wraps it up for spinning mouthpieces. Stay lifted.